Hey everyone, welcome back to Black Culture Talks. I am your girl Kim, aka Kim with the Gems, and today I'm coming to you with what shopping looks like for me while I'm in Mexico. So, as someone who loves specialty supermarkets, for certain things, especially as it relates to fruits and vegetables and some of the extra special items like plants and pastries, this store right here has it all. So I'm going to walk you through what is available at Fresco's in the Guadalajara Midtown location. And it's just spectacular. If you need any type of added live plants for your home, they have them here. Um, they also have an amazing fresh juice section. Here it is right here, where you can buy freshly squeezed juice, all kinds of fresh juice. Apple juice, orange juice, mango juice, pineapple juice, soursop juice, the list goes on and on. Here are just some of the fresh fruits that they carry at this location. And yeah, I can lose my mind in this store easily. Not only do they have the large bananas, they also have the mini bananas, which I love. Their flavor is just amazing. And here we are near the pineapples, the watermelon. Yes, all of these fruits have real seeds in them. And for those of us in, you know, urban areas, it's getting harder and harder in the U.S. to find fresh fruits with seeds. And when you do, the prices are insane. Eggs are priced normal <laughs> um, compared to what's happening in the U.S. And those were organic eggs. And then the way they have the store sectioned off, if you have gluten intolerance, there's a whole area for you. If you have diabetes or sugar issues, they have a section without sugar. There's also an organic section. There's a cafe, an amazing cafe that serves all types of breakfast and lunch items depending on the time of day. And then oh, this is the section that will get you in trouble. Fresh pastries made right here in the store daily. No stale, no leftovers. If you want biscuits, if you want fresh bread, if you want fresh muffins, fresh cookies, fresh cakes, fresh pies. Oh my goodness, brownies. The list goes on and on and on. And I wish this video had a way for you to smell the aroma of the fresh bakery that is located inside Fresco. So I'm not going to take you around the whole store. It is too large. They have every type of department you can think of. I do want to show you the haul that I got and compare prices to what I would have paid in New York City. This is the actual mall that it's located in. And here are the groceries that I came back with. Now, it's not a lot, but I got my beer, the Corona Light six pack, as well as a special edition Corona from the World Cup that they were selling here. And it's an extra large can. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you how much I would have spent for these items if I was in New York before we go through all of them. It would have been between $155 and $165 using the same type of store. So a food emporium or a Whole Foods or Stu Leonard's, it would have cost that much. I have an extra large instant coffee. I also have creamer. And we all know how expensive both coffee and creamer have gotten. 
There's also some snacks that is fresh leaf fried pork skins. That's right, pork skins. When in Mexico, you buy pork skins. I also purchased a box of Kleenex, Kleenex brand Kleenex, as well as Coca-Cola, and a large bag of Lay's potato chips, and another bag of what they call chicharron. I always like to pick up an item that I haven't seen in the U.S., and that was the chicharron. You also see a sour cream and onion Lay's bag of potato chips. Listen, I'm going to be here for a while, so <laughs> don't judge. You see, I also included some fruit. We'll get to that in a second. But I also make my own hibiscus tea and purchase two bags of dried hibiscus leaves. One, I hope to take back with me. <laughs> um, they were much cheaper. Some toilet tissue, some freshly squeezed soursop juice, which would have been an arm and a leg back in New York if you could find it. I know for a fact that would have been $15 or more. A mega roll of paper towels, as well as a feminine product in the back, some fresh limes. Oh my gosh, they those limes are amazing. The baby bananas that I really like, um, instead of feeling like I'm wasting or have to eat a whole banana, those come in handy. And look at this beautiful watermelon with the beautiful black seeds. And in New York City, for a whole watermelon last summer, they were charging between $30 and $50, depending on the size. Uh, so that would have been an easily $10, $15 right there. And here's a beautiful seeded papaya and some soursop fruit. One was already, I opened one and took out the seeds and so good. And then I'm going to wait for that one to get a little darker. Uh, they're so good when they're mushy and, and ripe. So expensive in New York. And the final products are my wines and spirits. That's right. I did get a bottle of Spice Bacardi rum, a carton of Ocean Spray cranberry juice, as well as a bottle of my favorite Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. And all of this for the low rate of $98. Over $50 in savings. And my fresh hibiscus tea was muy delicioso. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. I will be sharing a lot more from my time in Mexico. So make sure you don't miss a thing. Until then, adios mi familia. Thanks for tuning in and take care.